in my last little hook bait tips video, I showed you a real edge in terms of how to increase the attractiveness of your PB pop-ups or your afters during the winter. We're now in the heart of summer, and that for me means S7 and boily fishing. And in terms of my favorite hook bait to use when I am boily fishing at this time of year, has definitely got to be just a match the hatch cork dust pop-up, again, in the S7. However, I do like to, again, like I did in the winter, increase the attractiveness of these. Not so that they're sort of standing out, sort of screaming that it's got a, obviously a hook in the end, because the fish have been caught a few times, but they sort of purr, so to speak, attractiveness a little more subtly. As I said, in terms of hook bait that I'm gonna increase the attractiveness on today is the S7 ones, and it's the 18 mil ones. So the tactic that I'm using for these is best suited to the 18 mil because they do lose the buoyancy just ever so slightly. And the, but the 18 mil ones are still perfect for chod rigs and for stiff hinges. If you do this with the 15 mil, I'll probably use maybe a size six hook and a Ronnie rig. Um, but yeah, the 18 mil are my favorite to do this little trick. So in terms of all I'm doing, I'm just creating a lovely little coating on them that breaks down over a good few hours actually. Um, and if you've got little fish in your lake as well, they'll be sort of nibbling that and bringing attraction all throughout the water column. So in terms of what I'm gonna do for demonstration, I am gonna use a 15 mil one because basically I've already done it on my 18 mils. So the first thing that you'll need is yeah, S7 cork dust pop-ups. Of course you could do this with um, with the SLK as well or any of the other hook baits, but my favorite is the S7. So the first thing you're gonna do is obviously take them. And the first liquid I'm going to use is a very thin liquid. And again, this is just to have that sort of layered effect. So when you are leaving your baits out for an increased uh, period of time, I'll have different layers of breakdown. And this is the S7 Evo liquid, just comes in a tiny little tub and it's just got elevated levels of attraction so loads of spices it's got krill in there and all sorts of stuff and smells brilliant so you don't want loads of this just a little bit i would say a couple of mil per per tub just bob that on give it a shake just to make sure that they are fully coated and I would leave those for around about five days. Every other day or every day in fact, just keep turning them over on your shelf, let them soak in and basically you want them to go completely dry. You definitely don't want them wet. You want it soaked in just to go completely dry. So that's the first step. Now, obviously I can't wait five days for these to be dry. So you'll just have to believe me on that one. Once they're dry, the next thing I'm gonna do is add a thick sticky liquid so this one is going to break down first and it also means the powders that i'm going to put on are going to stick really well and yeah it's s7 again and this is the the bait soak so again once those are dried off around about the same couple of mil of the bait soak give them a shake make sure that they're evenly coated And with the bait so i don't want this one to dry out um, i want that stickiness because i'm going to be putting some powders on there the powder that i'm using is the s7 evo powder again you can buy this separately and inside this is basically the same but at elevated levels powders that actually go into the into the s7 so as I've already said, all I'm doing is just the increase in the attractiveness of my hook bait slightly, not so that it sort of stands out and screams, sort of I'm a, I'm a fluoro hook bait, but just so that it's sort of slightly more attractive than all of the freebies that I'm putting out. And hopefully it'll be one of the first that gets taken by the carp. So this powder just smells amazing. You can really smell the there's sort of krill meal in there, there's spice in there, there's salts in there as well, and perfect for obviously coating your hook bait. So just pour that on. I'd say just do a little bit at a time for this, just to see sort of how much you've got on. 
And at this stage as well, if you want to increase them even more, get a little bit of mold and sea salt, quite expensive, so you can get it from like Booth's and Sainsbury's, get it in a pestle and mortar, grind that down and just add a little bit of mold and sea salt in there as well. That's a really nice little edge. So once you've got that, obviously just shake them up. And you don't want a massively thick layer, but obviously they do need to be coated. So probably just a little bit more in there. Then just give them a shake. And then what I do with these, I will leave them another, say five or six days to, um, to dry out. And all that means is you're increasing that breakdown time so that if I just cast those out now, that powder would be off, you know, within probably 10 minutes, something like that, or even if I did a couple of miscasts, it had already come off. But by letting it dry out fully, Obviously it stays on for longer. If I get them back after five days and have a look at them and there's still some of that sticky liquid that I can see and they're still a little bit damp, I'll just add a little bit more on, give them a shake. No, no extra liquid, just a little bit more powder. Give them a shake and they will eventually go like these 18 miller ones that I've got there. And you can see there, I've got sort of loads of spices, a nice little layer. You can see that little bit of sort of mold and sea salt all around the edge there. And they, the breakdown time for that is a good amount of time. Um, sort of, I, I, I've been filming this for two hours and the breakdown time is still there. So it just very slowly leaks off. Some bits of the sort of krill and the spices goes up the water column. There's other bits that sort of gather around your swivel, etc and I've been catching fantastically well on them. You don't necessarily have to use those liquids that I would use, say in the height of summer, if you get a really warm spell, salmon oil would be really good instead of the actual bait soap, but they're the two that I've been using to, to great effect. So if you do want to elevate your matching pop-ups, you could also do this for wafters as well. If you do want to do that, and you are using match the hatch hook baits like I do in the summer, and even the autumn, give that method a go. As I said, I've been catching fantastically well using this method over the past few weeks. So yeah, incorporate that into your own fishing and see how you get on. It's serving me really well at least. So hopefully using that method, you'll catch a few as well.